Streamlabs Mobile Setup In today's video, we'll be diving into the world of mobile streaming with Streamlabs Mobile App. Whether you are a seasoned content creator or just starting your streaming journey, Streamlabs offers a powerful toolset right at your fingertips. From on-the-go live streaming to customizable overlays, alerts, and chat integration, this app brings the full streaming experience to your mobile device. Join me as we explore the features that make the Streamlabs mobile app a must-have for content creators looking to connect with their audience anytime, anywhere. So the first thing that we are going to do really is to download the mobile streaming app. So how are we going to do that? Just go ahead to your Play Store and here you're just going to look for Streamlabs. The moment you do that, this thing should appear here, so I'm going to tap on it. As you can see, this is the name of the app, Streamlabs Live Streaming. So just install this one and once you're done installing it, just go ahead and open it. After opening, you will be seeing something like this. Now we're just going to go ahead and tap the next button and then you'll be given the choices here. Whether you're going to stream with your camera, stream with your games or to do both. Now I'm going to go ahead and choose both and then from here I'm going to go ahead and click next. Now for the layout you can go ahead and start with a default layout that includes chat, alert box and event list widgets. Or you can go ahead and choose custom wherein you're going to build your layout from the scratch. Now if you want to make your life easier just go ahead and choose default and then click save. Next we're going to go ahead and enable our camera and enable our microphone as well. All right, there you go. And as you can see, we are now capturing our screen. Now from this point forward, I want you to go ahead and tap this one here, and then we're going to go ahead and toggle this one. So as a streamer, you know that dark mode is preferable, so that's why we are enabling that one. From this point forward, tap on the account settings, and then you're going to log in with your following. So for example, if I were to connect to Facebook, I'm just going to go ahead and click this one. Or if I were to log in my YouTube, I can do that one. We have Twitch, and we have so many other options here. So just go ahead and choose which one. Or if it's not here, you can go ahead and click custom RTMP, and then tap that purple setup icon. So you can go ahead and fill in this information. We have your name, URL, and then the stream key. So yep, go ahead and click save once you're done from here. Now I'm just going to go ahead and choose say YouTube for example. Alright, and click allow. Alright, there you go. As you can see, our primary streaming destination is now YouTube. Now I'm going to go ahead and close this one because there are some things that I'm going to go ahead and tell you. Now from the first one, we have their themes. I want you to go ahead and click that one. Now, if you want to make your stream more beautiful, more enticing, then definitely having a Streamlabs Ultra is going to help you. Because once you have a Streamlabs Ultra, you will be able to access all of these themes right at your fingertips. You don't need to customize anything. You're just going to go ahead and select. Say, for example, I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, this theme here, gold. All right. After selecting in it, there is an option for you guys to select that and download it to use it as your theme. So that's how easy it is actually. Now if you don't have however, then you won't be able to use any of these. Now I'm going to go ahead and close that one. And the next thing that I'm going to go ahead and tell you is the scene. So you can click this one here. As you can see, this is our scene right now. But if you want to add another, say for example, starting soon scene, live screen scene, intermission scene, and so on, you can definitely do that by clicking this one here. I can go ahead and select some scenes here that are pre-made or if I want to customize on my own I can go ahead and click this one here. So I'm going to go ahead and click got it. Alright and then you're going to tap the option below that says create new portrait scene and yep you should be able to select your own scenes or sources to add in there. But say for example pre-made I'm just going to go ahead and click this one here and then I'm going to choose uh, this one follower goal. I'm going to click it and yep oops we need to put the name here. So say for example I'm going to go ahead and call this uh, scene number two. So this is only our sample and then click this one here. All right, there you go. So as you can see, there is my face right there. And yep, there are some options down below that you can definitely use. Now, say for example, I'm going to go ahead and click the save button and then click save and proceed. All right, this is also for the horizontal. I'm going to go ahead and click the save button once again. And there you go. So now we have scene number two. And yep, that's how easy it is to create one. Now I'm going to close this one and then this is very important. Streamlabs Ultra again, this is the one that is going to save your life 
from disconnecting. You have their disconnect protection. If I were to tap on it, I can just simply enable this one. So if you have a disconnect protection, you are going to remain on your streaming site until you can re-establish your connection. And that's really amazing for streamers. You don't want to be disconnected often. So yeah, that is another reason for you guys to upgrade to Streamlabs Ultra. Now, if you want to upgrade to Streamlabs Ultra, just go ahead and click the link in the description box or the comment section below. Now I'm going to go ahead and close this one. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and tap alerts. Now here in the alerts, you can go ahead and click show all alerts. And then it is going to enable everything in here. But basically, if you want to customize, you can definitely unclick this one. And then you can just go ahead and choose which alerts you want to show. Um, say for example, I'm going to go ahead and click uh, Twitch subscriptions, Cloudbot redemptions. Yeah, these are just sample facebook stars youtube super chats and so on and so forth and yep that's basically how easy it is now i'm going to go ahead and select show all alerts just in case i'm going to use them in the future now close this one and then it is going to automatically save it now we're going down to the most important streaming settings if you were to tap on it you will be able to select here your audio settings there you go so this is your audio settings if there are other options you want to do then go ahead and click this one here but if not, then you can go ahead and close this one. Now for the video settings, this is one of the things that I think is most helpful for us. For the output resolution, you can definitely choose between 720p or 1080p depending on your hardware and your internet capabilities. Say for example, I'm going to max it to 1080p just like so. And then for the expected frame rate, I'm going to click this one and then choose 60fps. Now take note that this is again will depend on your hardware and internet capabilities. Now say for example, if you're not using a flagship phone for that matter then i suggest you're going to downgrade your output resolution to 720p now for the max video bitrate you can go ahead and select the appropriate bitrate for your chosen output resolution and say for example in my case this is 720p 60 fps the recommended video bitrate for this one is around 4500 so i'm going to go ahead and downgrade to about 4000 because again we're using our mobile phone so if you're going to use this for gaming as well and for streaming then it is definitely going to consume more power from your phone so yep that's why i'm going to go ahead and choose 4000 now another thing is you can go ahead and try to choose here different possibilities now for example the camera orientation lock uh, this is going to disable the camera orientation after the stream is started so you can definitely enable that one but i'm going to go ahead and close this one because i'm done setting up there and yep once you're done you can just go ahead and close this one just like so and then you can go ahead and start streaming so again if you want to change the scene you can definitely do that one just go ahead and tap this one here all right and then you can definitely switch between the scenes you want to use for example if i were to use this one here the default or the one that we use for gaming you can definitely do that one so this is your screen right here and basically what is going to happen is that you have here your video your camera so this is your camera right here and then yep you have your camera and then you have here the screen being captured as you are going to stream all right congratulations everybody that is how easy it is to set up streamlabs mobile Anyway, if you're interested in kicking off your streaming career with Streamlabs, click the link in the description box in order to save yourself up to $20 of discount. And as always, please check our channel for detailed Streamlabs tutorial. We have various levels of tutorials from the most basic ones such as how to set it up, all the way to things like using Streamlabs to stream to TikTok, fixing black screen, and so many others. And as always, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave this video a like if it helps you out.